It was a beautiful summer day, and four friends, John, Sarah, Alex, and Emily, decided to take a hike in the woods. They had been hiking for a few hours, enjoying the scenic views and fresh air when they stumbled upon an old, rusty gate that seemed to lead to nowhere. Hey, let's go check it out, John exclaimed, pointing at the gate. The others looked at him skeptically, but their curiosity got the best of them, and they made their way towards the gate. As they pushed their way through the vines and foliage, they noticed a strange, eerie feeling surrounding them. They couldn't quite put their finger on it, but something about the place gave them goosebumps. As they pushed through the thick brush, they suddenly found themselves in an old cemetery, completely overgrown with weeds and vines. The tombstones were weathered and cracked, and the whole place seemed to have been forgotten for centuries. Well, this is so cool, Sarah exclaimed, looking around in awe. The group began to explore the cemetery, taking in the intricate designs of the tombstones and the different names and dates carved into them. As they made their way deeper into the cemetery, they began to notice some of the more peculiar headstones. Check this one out, guys, Emily called out, pointing to a large, ornate headstone with an epitaph that read here lies the body of Mary Elizabeth, beloved wife and mother. May she rest in peace. They stood there in silence, admiring the beauty of the headstone and the words etched into it. Suddenly, they heard a noise coming from the woods. It sounded like footsteps, but when they turned around, no one was there. Did you guys hear that? Alex asked, looking around nervously. The others shrugged it off, thinking it was just an animal or the wind, and continued to explore the cemetery. However, the strange feeling they had felt earlier began to grow stronger, and they couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. As the sun began to set, the group decided it was time to head back home. They made their way back to the gate, still feeling uneasy, and promised to come back and explore the cemetery again. Little did they know, the cemetery held a dark and sinister secret, one that would soon turn their friendly adventure into a terrifying fight for survival. The next day, the group of friends met up at the park to discuss their adventure in the cemetery. They laughed about the creepy feeling they had and the strange noises they heard but quickly dismissed it as their imagination running wild. However, as the day went on, they began to experience strange happenings that they couldn't explain. During lunch, Sarah noticed that her sandwich had moved from one side of her tray to the other. At first, she thought it was a prank, but the others swore they had nothing to do with it. Then, as they walked home from the park, they heard whispers and footsteps, but when they turned around, no one was there. That night, they decided to have a sleepover at Sarah's house. As they sat in her room, watching a movie, they heard a loud bang coming from downstairs. They cautiously made their way down, only to find that a vase had fallen from the table. They couldn't explain how it had fallen, as there was no one else in the house. The next day, they decided to go back to the cemetery to see if they could find any answers. As they made their way back to the old gate, they noticed that the vines and foliage seemed thicker than before. It was almost as if the cemetery was trying to keep them out. They pushed through the overgrowth and made their way into the cemetery. As they walked among the graves, they noticed that some of the tombstones had moved since their last visit. The epitaphs that they had read the day before were now in a different order. Their uneasiness grew as they made their way deeper into the cemetery. Suddenly, they heard a noise coming from behind a large mausoleum. They cautiously made their way towards the noise, but when they got there, they found nothing. As they made their way back to the gate, they noticed that the feeling of being watched had grown stronger. They couldn't shake the feeling that they were being followed, but every time they turned around, no one was there. That night, they decided to do some research on the cemetery. They found out that the cemetery had been abandoned for years and that strange happenings had been reported there for decades. They read about people disappearing without a trace and strange occurrences happening at night. The group was now convinced that something sinister was going on in the lost cemetery. They knew they had to find out what was happening before it was too late. Little did they know that their quest for answers would soon turn into a fight for survival. The group of friends had been researching the lost cemetery for days, trying to find out more about the strange happenings they had experienced. They had found out that the cemetery had a dark history and was surrounded by a legend that had been passed down for generations. The legend spoke of a witch who had been buried in the cemetery over a hundred years ago. She was said to have been a powerful and evil woman who had made a deal with the devil. The townspeople had become scared of her and, in their fear, had burned her at the stake. The group was skeptical of the legend at first, but the more they researched, the more they began to believe that it could be true. They found old newspaper articles and diary entries from people who had claimed to have seen the witch's ghost wandering the cemetery at night. One night, they decided to go back to the cemetery to investigate the legend. As they made their way through the overgrowth, they noticed that the atmosphere was different. It was darker and the air was thick with an ominous feeling. They made their way towards the mausoleum where the witch was said to have been buried. As they approached, they saw an old, weathered headstone with the name Agatha carved into it. 
It was surrounded by dead flowers and strange symbols etched into the ground. Suddenly, they heard a low, guttural moaning coming from inside the mausoleum. They cautiously made their way towards the entrance and peered inside. To their horror, they saw a figure cloaked in darkness, standing at the back of the mausoleum. They tried to run, but their legs felt heavy and weak. It was as if something was holding them back. The figure started to move towards them, and they could see the glowing eyes of the witch. They finally broke free from the invisible force and ran for their lives. They could hear the witch's cackling laughter behind them as they made their way out of the cemetery. As they caught their breath outside the gate, they knew that they had stumbled upon something beyond their understanding. They knew that the legend of the witch was true and that they had to do something to put her spirit to rest. They made a plan to return to the cemetery and perform a ritual to banish the witch's ghost from the cemetery. They knew it was risky, but they were determined to put an end to the strange happenings once and for all. Little did they know that their quest to banish the witch's ghost would be the biggest challenge they had ever faced. The witch was powerful, and they would have to use all their courage and strength to defeat her. As soon as they entered the abandoned building, the group of friends knew they had made a mistake. The place was dark, and the air was musty, with cobwebs covering every corner. But they were determined to explore and see what was inside. They made their way through the maze of rooms, with their flashlights illuminating the path ahead. Suddenly, they heard a sound coming from one of the rooms. It sounded like footsteps, but they couldn't see anyone. They slowly approached the room, their hearts pounding with fear. As they opened the door, they saw a figure standing in the corner of the room. It was a man, dressed in ragged clothes and with a wild look in his eyes. The man started to approach them, and they knew they had to get out of there. But as they turned to run, they found that the door was locked. They were trapped. Panic set in as they searched for a way out. They could hear the man's footsteps getting closer and closer. They tried to break the window, but it wouldn't budge. They were running out of options. Just when they thought all hope was lost, one of the friends noticed a loose floorboard. They pulled it up, revealing a dark tunnel leading to the outside. They knew it was their only chance to escape. They crawled through the tunnel, their hands and knees scraping against the rough ground. They could hear the man's angry voice behind them, but they didn't dare look back. Finally, they emerged from the tunnel and found themselves outside. They were safe, but their hearts were still racing with adrenaline. As they made their way back home, they couldn't believe what had just happened. They had narrowly escaped a dangerous situation, but they knew that they had learned an important lesson. They promised themselves never to explore abandoned buildings again and to always be aware of their surroundings. The experience had been terrifying, but they were grateful to have made it out alive. They hugged each other tightly, knowing that they had each other's backs and that they would always be there for one another, no matter what. The group of friends had just gone through a traumatic experience. They had faced danger and come out alive, but they knew that they needed time to process what had happened. As they sat together in the park, they talked about their feelings and what they had learned from the experience. They realized that they had taken their safety for granted and that they needed to be more aware of their surroundings. They also talked about how important it was to have each other's backs. They had faced the danger together and they had all played a part in making sure that everyone made it out alive. They knew that they were stronger as a team than they were alone. They also discussed how they could use their experience to help others. They knew that not everyone was as lucky as they were and that there were people out there who were facing danger every day. They wanted to make a difference and help those who were in need. As they talked, they came up with a plan. They decided to start a community outreach program where they could use their skills and resources to help people in their neighborhood. They would teach self-defense classes, host safety seminars, and provide support for those who had faced traumatic experiences. They knew it wouldn't be easy, but they were determined to make a difference. They wanted to turn their experience into something positive and help others in the process. As they got to work on their plan, they found that they were making a real difference in their community. People were coming to their events, learning valuable skills, and feeling empowered to take control of their own safety. The group of friends had gone through a traumatic experience, but they had turned it into something positive. They had learned the importance of being aware of their surroundings, having each other's backs, and using their experiences to help others. They knew that they had made a difference, and they were proud of what they had accomplished.